Good kitten internet. Uh, today's the third. Oh, right, need to do the calendar thing. Meow. I need to go to the calendar, Kitty. Oh, you're right, I haven't put on my glasses yet. Okay. All right, and we have our kitten calendar. I'm just not doing selfie cam, so it's a little easier to see. So it's obviously the third. Uh, Passover ends at sundown. Huh, good to know. See the calendar in all its glory. Totally normal April calendar. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. All right, morning walk time. I decided not to wear the headphones today because I didn't feel like having my ears overheated. Um, yeah, that's a good conversation to start with. So, you'll notice that whenever I'm walking around, I usually wear headphones, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One, I have some ear problems that cause me to not like being in the wind sometimes. Now, if my ears have been recently cleaned out, it's just that everything is super duper loud and I hear, you know, leaves falling from trees. Um, ah, ain't having to hold camera, really need selfie stick or gimbal or something. Um, and two, I like listening to music when I walk around. So, I usually wear headphones. The problem is that winter, because they cover up my entire ear, they are nowhere near that nice for summer or for spring, late spring, as it obviously is here, and totally not summer. Um, my headphones sound really nice. I am not an audiophile by any means whatsoever, but it has good audio quality, it has good noise cancellation. I wear them everywhere. Again, I overheat though, and it gets worse if I'm wearing a hat. My theory is it's because I have something clamping on the top of my head, causing the hat to adhere more to my head. So, I need to find a different solution. I had bought a pair of earbuds that were relatively cheap and relatively high quality, but I can't stand wearing earbuds. Uh, it's so annoying. But I want something that's cooling. Well, cooling's the wrong word. I want something that's not going to overheat me, and I'd prefer something that doesn't go over the top of my head. <sighs> I have my little bone conduction headset that I can use, but the audio quality on that is abysmal. I mean, even if I don't have it set to use the microphone part where it goes above AM radio quality, it's still, well, FM radio quality at that point. So I need to find some replacement. All of these things that I need to find, but at the same time, I don't really need because, well, I'm going to be moving in less than a year. So I shouldn't be collecting more stuff. Now you see why I haven't bought the gimbal yet. One moment. Sorry, don't want to accidentally record other people. Um, let's take a look at the park, shall we? So, this is Norman Clayton Park. They're getting set up for the parade that's going to happen tomorrow. You know, the 4th of April, American Independence Day. So they've got the recycling bin out. They've got couple of extra benches over here, they've got a porta potty down there, and they're going to have a parade that will be coming through this road right here and actually going by my house. Uh, usually I have a couple of co-workers that come by for that particular event, former co-workers now I suppose, and I'll potentially see them. Unfortunately, it's gonna be hot. It's almost as though it's summer, but it's obviously not because it's obviously only April 3rd today. Oh, the two big trees. We saved these trees, you know. Um, the neighborhood had a fundraiser to be able to pay for the treatments for these trees because uh, here in Madison we have a nasty case of the emerald ash borer. And if you haven't noticed, because I'm bad at identifying plant life, almost all of these trees are ash trees. That's because that they planted ash trees everywhere from the Dutch elm disease that ravaged the neighborhood, yeah, 40 plus years ago. Good job. Yay, monoculture. Uh, but 
these trees in particular, there was a fundraiser for the trees of Norman Clayton Park, and these, one of these two trees, I'm actually not sure which one, I think it's this one, I actually paid for. So, I'm the reason why the tree's still there, yay. I adopted one of these trees. I'd have to look to see which. I don't actually know how to look. So yeah, uh, switch this back around. Hello again. Um, hmm. I was hoping to have another video today instead of a walkabout video three times in a row, but kind of need somebody to watch over that video before I edit it and release it. It's got some extra content in there that I need approval for. Um, tomorrow I'm planning on doing a Let's Play video. I should have plenty of time. I might be able to get that done today, but I doubt it, which is the reason why I'm recording this walkabout. Uh, what else? Huh. I have it zip tied. Wait. Hold on a moment. Oh, wait, wait. Leslie gendered things time. This is the only porta potty. Why? Why? I don't understand. But it's zip tied at the moment. Only use during event, apparently. Okay. <sighs> it's already really bright and sunny. I prefer not sunny. And it's going to be warming up today. I think today's high is 31 or 32. Last time I looked, I'd have to check again. One moment, I'm going to check again. Nope, not coming up. For some reason, my app that I normally use for keeping track of the weather just randomly closes itself. I think it's the device closing it for no reason. Um, one of the updates made it a lot more uh, aggressive on memory management, even though this phone has so much RAM that I really don't care. Uh, it's annoying. Um, it's currently 25 degrees outside, so for those of you in Freedom Land, that's 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, today's high is 32, which is 80... Oh, not good at translating those numbers. 80-something um, degrees. So 27 is 80, so that would mean it is uh, 80 plus 25 ninths. So, well, that doesn't make any sense. It's the other way around. Um, 89. There we go. 89 degrees Fahrenheit today. <sighs> Just happened to have spot this right after turning off the recording. I'm actually right next to the tree that I was at. Uh, Olmus X New Horizon. Presumably that's an N at the end. It's kind of hard to tell. New Horizon Elm in memory of Norman and Kathy Clayton. Hmm. That's the elm. It's a pretty tree. I like trees. Um, I'm wondering... There. I'm actually wondering if this might be a memory plaque from... I don't know. I'm going to have to Google this for reference. I'm wondering if this is actually a memory plaque for the um, landfill explosion that happened back in the 60s because it's either that or else the land was donated and in memory of. I'm not sure. I'll have to Google that. Hmm. Good for thought. Unfortunately, no um, kitty time today for... Here, hold on. No kitty time for feeding the kitties because I needed to have both my hands free and my phone wasn't nearby. But Isun and Zone were together. Isun came in as usual. Zone was eating, and Isun was up again, up with me, purring his head off, playing around, enjoying, you know, the usual. But the purring right next to Zone was new, especially after Zone and Isun got nose to nose for a little while. No aggression, no nothing. Isun didn't even seem scared this time, which is great. Good job, kitty cats. That's not just good job for Isun, but also good job to Zone. Good job. So you may have noticed um, video cutting in and out, or audio, I should say, cutting in and out before. 
um, when I'm reversing the camera, I didn't realize there was that long of a delay and it wasn't super obvious to me. I understand where the delay is at now, so that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, um, something I talked about earlier today, wanted to mention, since I don't really have much else to talk about today, um, the whole audio thing. So let me make sure I have the right ones. Yep. So this is my little earbud things that I had picked up. They're supposed to twist into your ear. It's really uncomfortable for me. I need to hold with my other hand so I can put this into the other ear. So yeah, these are earbuds. They just go into my ear. I don't like them. Audio quality is okay. It's not great or anything, but it's satisfactory. The problem is that it clogs up my ears. Right now, it feels like I have my fingers in my ears, and they will not let go. I don't necessarily need noise isolation when I'm just walking around outside, and I don't like having my ears clogged like this. Um, the other thing I wanted to show off really fast, and let me know if you want me to go over this more, because this is the type of thing that a lot of people seem to be really interested about. So this is my bone conduction headset. Let me just put this on really fast. There we go. Um, so yeah, it is a headset, so it has a boom mic, but the main thing, it's not covering my ear. This is bone conduction, so this, this part here, vibrates up against here to make my eardrum move. So it conducts audio just through the outside of my ears, which means that I can walk around with my ears completely un uncovered. This is far more comfortable than any other set of headphones that I have, or any headset that I have for purposes of talking. So I think, I can't remember if I've actually recorded a Let's Play using this or not, but I have recorded other things using this. The microphone quality isn't the greatest in the world, and the audio quality is whoo bad. Again, um, it is a Bluetooth headset that doesn't have any uh, ability to handle the other codecs for Bluetooth, which means that by default, if it's in the headset mode, it is AM radio level or worse, and in regular mode, it's just a really crappy set of headphones. But in headset mode, it is so bad that you basically can't hear anything other than a human voice. If you play any type of music, you will just cringe repeatedly. It's that bad. I would love a headset like this, or headphones like this, if they actually had halfway decent audio quality. I'd be willing to spend a good penny for them, because these are really comfortable. It's exactly what I want for... Um, springtime weather, shall we say. Or summertime weather, as the case may be. But I can't find anything like that. And these things are not cheap. And there's only one brand that makes them, so it's not like I can try a different brand. So if anybody out there has any suggestions for headphones that aren't going to completely cover up my ears, yet at the same time don't leak a huge amount of audio, because I don't want people to be listening to my music other than me, that kind of defeats the point of headphones. And also, well, sound okay. It doesn't need to be audiophile or anything like that. Just sounding decent is good enough. Uh, please let me know. Oh, um, they need to be Bluetooth because, unfortunately, I use a modern smartphone. This does not have a headphone jack. My tablet does, but this does not. Okay, well, it's about midnight. I'm going to bed. Good night, Internet. And if I hadn't already said it, good kitten. Bye!